Hi, this is Katie with Empowering Astrology, and this is Chiron Healing the Soul. So thank you all for joining me for yet another webinar. It is an honor and a pleasure to be able to share astrology with you for those who are both beginner astrologers and also those who are continuing uh, to learn. And you know, Chiron is a topic that's close to my heart, which I'll talk a little bit more in a few moments. Um, you know, it's a newer addition to astrology, so we're still trying to figure it out. And a lot of how I see Chiron has to do with how I'm taught um, astrology by spirit. And when I say that, um, I'm a psychic medium and my t astrology teachers aren't always in physical form. So I've gotten a lot of really interesting information that's shaped how I see Chiron and how I use Chiron in my client work. Um, so I'm just sharing my perspective. And of course, you know, Chiron something that's new. And maybe if you work with astrology yourself, you might have your own perspective. So this is just for me to share and, and for you to kind of see things from a different perspective and, and see what resonates for yourself. Um, so this is Chiron Healing the Soul, and today is October 26, 2019. Um, again, my name is Katie Sweetman. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I've been a professional astrologer, astrologer for about eight years, and I started Empowering Astrology in 2010 because I wanted to, let's say, express astrology from my own perspective. And at the time, I felt like there wasn't really... Um, you know, how do we reframe the the chart and how do we reframe the transits in a way to, let's say, use it in the best possible way? Um, I also am a psychic medium, and that's, you know, I was saying a few moments ago, that what really informs how I see Chiron. Um, so this is just a quick rundown on the agenda. This is more for those who are watching the replay and just kind of want to see how this is unfolding. Um, so let's, let's start things. So I've been always deeply drawn to Chiron and, you know, maybe it's because I'm a Scorpio. Um, Chiron is, you know, it kind of has this juicy archetype metaphor with it. This idea that Chiron represents an area of the chart that is now, depending on who you talk to, wounded, or something that demands our healing. Um, and so for me, it's like, okay, well, what is this? You know, how does that inform my own journey as a person on this planet? How does that help my clients understand themselves better or help you all understand yourself better? So it's something that I was always reading and searching for, for more information, but it is a newer addition to astrology. So um, you know, we don't have the benefit of something that's been around for thousands of years, and we have all this understanding of it, but we will talk about the history in a moment. And, you know, the more that I delved into Chiron, the more that I really, you know, the word you, wounded healer, and if you are new to astrology, if you like Google Chiron, they will always say, oh, it's the wounded healer. And I'm like, What's that? Um, especially when people say, oh, I have my wounded healer in Taurus or Gemini. I was like, what does that mean? That sounds slightly absurd. Um, but, you know, it, there seems something kind of off about that terminology, especially when people talk about Chiron as the wound that never heals, because that just, I don't know, doesn't seem right. I, like I said, just my own personal perspective, how could there be an area of our chart that doesn't want to heal? Now, I do believe that Karen's a bit of a stubborn area in terms of, let's say, the healing work that we have to do on a soul level, which I will get to in a moment. Um, and as I worked with my clients, I could start to see how Chiron was woven into the background, you know, the work that I do with clients, you know, I'm not your typical astrologer. I'm not like, you know, you sit down with me and I'm like, this is going to happen on this date and this is going to happen on that day. That never, that type of work personally never really connected. You know, I want you to understand, of course, the time in your life, but I also want to get to the, the underneath, you know, what's fueling this time in your life. And so, you know, Kaiwan would kind of sneak in this 
this, this kind of underlying pain that hasn't been addressed or healed, or maybe there have been, there's a journey that's happened with Chiron that you're, you know, there is some healing work that's been happening over the course of time. Um, so around 2015, I, I think I was at a point in my life where I was like, I'm going to do some channeling. And and I think in a way I still do. And I, and I, it's funny when I was preparing for this, I could kind of feel that work coming back in. Um, you know, I wanted to channel the planets. Um, I, maybe I wanted to make that a focus of my work at the time, but um, I did receive a download about Chiron. And when I, every time I go back and read it, it, it makes like the hairs on the back of my neck kind of tingle, you know, what was said in this, um, channel to me and, and it's on my website if you search um on chiron suffering and not is that spirit or my guides my guides that i work with they wanted to correct me in the sense that chiron was not a wound it was something that was more like a knot a knot in the fabric of our lives that we are working to undo and when we look at Chiron as a knot instead of a wound, it reframes or it kind of shifts our consciousness in what we're doing. Now, a knot is something that it can be quite stubborn if you ever tried to undo a knot. But this idea that our healing work is something that we, you know, it's, it's not this wound that never heals. Um, and, you know, how do we undo this knot? Or we do it with consciousness we do it with compassion we do it with love um but you know, when we don't work on our chiron you know it, it kind of becomes a bit of a stubborn area and we're going to keep returning to our chiron over and over again um that's the beauty of astrology is that everything happens within a circle it's all about cycles so as we travel around the zodiac each year with the sun or with the different planets, we keep returning to where our Chiron is and we keep returning to that story, that story of suffering, inadequacy, loss, separation, that um, sometimes we cling to a little bit too much, but we are ultimately trying to heal. Um, and I think an important distinction to make about Chiron is, yes, there's the personal element of what we're healing, you know, this idea of, you know, self-worth or voice or something else. But ultimately, I think, and this is where, you know, my own um, intuitive work has come in, um, in, in this channel that I received, that it's about connecting our story, our pain, our suffering to a collective story you know, something that is part of the human experience for better or for worse. Um, and when we shift to that level of the collective, it kind of takes us out of the personal side of Chiron. No longer it's like, this is something that happened to me. This is my wound or this is my pain. This is my suffering. It's like, oh, I'm part of something that's much bigger than myself. And it's when we shift our consciousness that we're able to transcend and to go into our Chiron story and our chart on a, let's say, a much higher perspective. You know, when I'm working with clients, or at least like this is the goal, maybe it's a tall order in, in one phone call, but, you know, spirit will show me like the highest potential of the chart. You know, what is it, you know, when you've managed to kind of clear some space and go within and go deeper into yourself and to unlock things, you know, what is it that you know the kind of life or the type of self that you get to express but you know you gotta undo those knots you know chiron in astrology it looks like a key it looks like the symbol looks like a key so it's something that we are unlocking over time hopefully sooner rather than later so another point that I want to make is, you know, Chiron is a newer edition of astrology. There are other people that are working to understand Chiron. There's certainly astrologers that are really um, people that created the foundation of our understanding about Chiron. So, you know, I'm building on some of the things that these people have written about or published or, you know, done talks on. And then, you know, I'm bringing hopefully my own perspective, but also the perspective of what spirit has shared with me. So why Chiron? 